Hi, you're listening to Light Lounge with Dimitri K, broadcasted from the city beautiful Orlando, Florida. We often speak of people as having or not having a good year. A good year means, as a start, having an accurate perception of pitch and rhythm. We know that Mozart He had a wonderful year and, of course, he was a sublime artist. We take it that all good musicians must have a decent ear, even if not one of Mozartian caliber, but is a good ear sufficient? I am reading a few paragraphs from a book called Wonderful Ear by Mick Inkpen and Nick Butterworth. They say that people with absolute pitch can immediately unthinkingly tell the pitch of any note without either reflection or comparison with an external standard. They can do this not only with any note they hear but with any note they imagine or hear in their heads. And for example they quote a professional violinist about his tinnitus or ringing in his ears remarked matter-of-factly that his tinnitus was a high F natural. He did not realize, I think, that saying this was in any way unusual, but of millions of people with tinnitus, probably not one in 10,000 could say what pitch their tinnitus has. Well, I'm not sure how many of us has a perfect pitch, but I'm pretty sure most of us at one point or another are going to have a tinnitus. Well, I didn't see that coming. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Hi, this is Catherine Duke and you're listening to my latest single, Remember When, on Light Lounge with Dimitri K.
we just listen to Remember When by Catherine Duke featuring Jonas Isaacson. And now a few words for our next guest, Teraz Big Band. The Teraz Big Band is an 18-piece ensemble based in Queens, New York and performing monthly at Terraza 7 in Jackson Heights under the direction of Michael Thomas, saxophone and composer, and Edward Perez, bass and composer. Let's listen to Without Doubt and Longing.
there are the big band, let's listen to one more piece. It's called One Day Wonder.
life is better than listening to a commercial radio station playing endlessly a few resembling songs. If you feel that way, you came at the right place. Light Lounge with Dimitri K plays the best award winners and independent artists around the world. Before we continue with our guest tonight, let's go back for a minute on the absolute pitch topic discussed at the beginning of the show. Absolute pitch is not necessarily of much importance even to musicians. Mozart had it, but Wagner and Schumann lacked it. But for most who has it, the loss of absolute pitch may be felt as a severe privation. The authors of wonderful yearbook quote a composer who suffered brain damage from the rupture of aneurysm of the anterior communication artery. The composer had absolute pitch as long as he could recall. But after the damage, he said, it's gone or it has certainly been eroded. Since absolute pitch was an advantage to him as a musician, he felt its erosion keenly. Well, that sounds like a consolation. If Wagner and Schumann didn't have an absolute pitch and made it on the world stage, probably some of us still have a chance. At age 24, Matt Savash has had a 15-year professional career as a jazz musician, band leader and composer with ensembles of different sizes. He has played with some of the biggest names in jazz including Chick Corea, the Ellington All-Stars, Chuck Khan, Wynton Marsalis, among others. Along the way he has recorded 11 albums as band leader. Matt's Rush Groove Experiment slash Variations We're listening to a composition called IDGAF and Splash in G Major.
Here one more composition from Matt Svash, Rigato.
Hi, this is Kirsten Agresta Copley, and you are listening to Light Lounge with Dimitri K. My new single, Devotion, takes the listener on a passionate journey of hope, desire, and nostalgia. I hope you enjoy listening. You're listening to Light Lounge with Dimitri K. It's time to say goodbye. And remember, hesitation is temporary music lasts forever. Most of the artists you heard on this show are independent artists. And if you like some of them, you can Google the name and find them on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon and the rest of the digital media. And that would be a great support for them. For any comments, suggestions and feedback, please email me at kopublishing at gmail.com. I'm Dimitri K, broadcasting from the city beautiful Orlando, Florida. Hey John, is that the blue cat you're talking about?